What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, it says about 65% of you watching are new, so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on what is going on with the stock market and tech news. Today we're going to talk about STPK and their merger with STEM Inc. Because we have breaking news that STEM just confirmed a lot of big numbers that we had been waiting on. So right now, STPK is merging with STEM. They're supposed to merge in the first quarter of 2021 this year, but it got delayed a little bit. So now it's going to be in... Um, early quarter two of 2021, according to this recent report. But according to the report, we have some great numbers, some great confirmations. According to John Carrington, the CEO of STEM, he said this past year, we've experienced tremendous business momentum, exceeding our revenue target tremendously. And that's great. The growth we achieved was driven by solid execution on both behind the meter and front of the meter projects, strong pull through from our partner channel network and significant market demand for smart storage solutions. Now more than ever, our corporate customers are seeing importance of creating a resilient and sustainable energy strategy as we face climate related weather events power outages and pandemic related economic turbulence. So essentially what he's talking about as we saw a lot of drama with what went on in Texas with the cold front that froze everything. STEM and their technology with Athena, their AI platform, would have been able to prevent this. It would have been able to solve a lot of the issues that went on there. So probably they're getting orders from Texas, from other states that are worried about similar issues happening. In addition to this, the CFO of STEM, he said, uh, with their numbers, um, they're proud to deliver strong 2020 financial results. And with 2020 revenue coming in approximately 10% above estimates, which was great. And then looking ahead, he explained how they remain pos well positioned for significant growth, including a fourfold expected increase in their 2021 revenue. They're expecting to 4X their revenue. 100% is already covered by their contracted backlog, which means this is basically guaranteed already. That Last year, they did about 30, $33 million in revenue. This year, they're expecting now $125 million in revenue, basically already guaranteed because it's already under contract. And that is absolutely great news. This company has a lot of potential. A lot of people are expecting big things from them, and they're projecting to have $1 billion in revenue over the next four years. And if they do that, this could easily be a 6X stock. You could easily see this stock get well over $150 a share if they're continuing to deliver on these numbers like they say. Remember, most SPACs, they don't even announce these sort of earnings before they go public. However, with everything going on, they obviously had great numbers, so they wanted to announce, let investors know beforehand to continue to drive up the price, continue to let people know that things are going well with the company. Normally, we don't see these numbers until the company goes public, but because they delayed the merger, because everything's going extremely well, they let investors know early, and this is absolutely great news. 4X their revenue from 2020 to 2021, and it's basically already confirmed because they said it's already under contract in their system. So I want to let you guys know, quick update on that. Don't forget, if you want to see more content, check out my podcast called Michael on the Mic. Talk about business news, tech news, and other information. Don't forget to get your four free stocks, each valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull Investing app. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>